Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to do the detailed camera review of the Lenovo ZUK Z1. So Z1 is a latest uh, device from Lenovo although this device is not really new. It was announced in China last year almost uh, 8 to 10 months back. But this has been announced in India and this comes with a uh, Cyanogen OS uh, uh, with uh, Android Lollipop. Now on the camera friend uh, this has a 13 megapixel camera uh, with f2.2 aperture and uh, this also has uh, optical image stabilization and 5p lens. So this also has this Qualcomm's uh, image processing algorithm. And uh, there is a uh, dual LED flash as well. On the front facing camera, we have a uh, 8 megapixel shooter with a wide angle selfie mode. So that's uh, one good thing about this device. So most of the devices in this price point offer only 5 megapixel camera. And optical image stabilization is not uh, really available on this price point. So these are some other really great aspects about this uh, camera. Now let's go to the camera's uh, interface. So here is the uh, Lenovo ZUK Z1's interface. So this is typical Cyanogen interface so we have some options here switch to front facing camera enable or disable flash then uh, we have the option to uh, adjust uh, i mean you can see the exposure value is there uh, then uh, we have the um, i mean white balance uh, uh, we can uh, select uh, different modes are available uh, we can uh, see here there are different uh, modes like backlight beach candlelight there are different modes available so you can choose uh, between them then uh, we have the option uh, for settings so camera it's a uh, 13 megapixel at a uh, 4 is 3 aspect ratio we have a uh, 12 megapixel as well and if you want a uh, uh, different aspect ratio you can uh, select uh, from uh, 9.7 megapixel and uh, different other options are also included you can also set the quality uh, it's you can be set to 100 percentage then uh, touch to focus uh, is also in, uh, there uh, you can uh, see here that's the uh, time available then uh, the default set of options are also included now if you go to the video mode we have a full hd video recording included there's no focus about this because this is uh, a slightly older processor that's uh, snapdragon 801 uh, chipset so that's the uh, is is reason for not having uh, the 4K video recording but we have a, a slow motion rec recording at 60 FPS there is also high speed recording at uh, 60 FPS so you can uh, select those options as well now uh, in the general options uh, we have options to uh, take photos using power power key uh, zoom in using volume key left handed and bright screen that is when you turn on the camera uh, the screen grow, goes up uh, uh, brighter so that's these are some other options available available in the camera interface so that's the interface and here we have the panorama uh, option to take photo and uh, record video so we just swipe down now we can uh, change between the different modes which we saw here so uh, here we have this uh, uh, there's an option to count down timer as well so we can uh, select here default options so if you select this this will be available here so you can customize what all options you want uh, uh, to uh, to be available uh, in this mode so you can see there are lots of modes so based on whatever is available it can be selected now uh, you can also see there is uh, um, different filters also included uh, like negative CPI etc. So overall it's a feature rich UI and if you have been using uh, uh, Cyanogen OS uh, previously you might be already familiar with this uh, UI. Now let's go straight into the camera samples taken with this device. So this is one of uh, those uh, really good cameras in this price point because it has optical image stabilization and uh, here samples taken in daylight you can see the camera samples have come really good. Uh, it's really punchy and vivid. The sharpness levels are great. The color quality looks uh, really beautiful and uh, the details in the photo look are uh, really stunning for a camera priced uh, below the 15k price point so we, ha we haven't seen uh, quite a lot of devices in this price point with a uh, really great exceptional camera abilities and Lenovo uh, ZUK Z1 is one of those phones uh, where the camera is uh, really good and uh, one of the better aspects about this phone so if your primary aim is a camera smartphone in uh, the sub 15k price point without doubt the ZUK Z1 should be your first choice so here are some of the samples taken and you can see the close-up shots also have come really well uh, exceptional clarity uh, great uh, color quality and also sharpness levels are really great and uh, it has this uh, ability to focus even closer objects so it does not um, uh, really have any issues uh, when you take up uh, 
uh, the daylight shots. Now talking about the low light uh, imaging abilities of this device. So here are some of the samples which we have taken and you can see they have come quite good uh, for a budget or rather mid range offering and uh, the noise levels are kept to minimal uh, level and uh, because of the optical image stabilization the low light photos have also come quite good. Even with extreme low light although there is noise uh, but still uh, for a phone price uh, below 15k this is really good quality. Now with adequate lighting the phone can uh, I mean, capture uh, photos in uh, a good clarity and overall it looks quite good. So dual LED flash also works pretty good and can take photos in extreme low light conditions. So that was the rear, cam rear camera that's a 13 megapixel shooter. Now talking about the full HD video recording again it uh, looks quite good uh, the clarity of the uh, video looks again good but one issue we notice while recording videos is that uh, it hunts for focus uh, so uh, once you move the camera from one object to another it does uh, take some time to focus so but if you if you touch to focus that uh, works pretty well but then uh, if it is going to be uh, using the, uh, the regular autofocus it does take some time to focus uh, especially in the videos which are moving so that's one issue we found but otherwise the video looks quite good and uh, uh, really good clarity in this price point now talking about the front facing camera here we have again a front facing camera we have different modes you can choose between different modes which what was available uh, for the rear facing camera as well so in the front facing camera you can see the 8 megapixel at the maximum resolution and uh, uh, you can uh, again record videos in uh, full HD using the front facing camera as well so it uh, looks quite good, uh, the, even the front facing camera can record videos in 1080p and here are some of the samples which are taken using the front facing 8 megapixel camera and they have come quite good, the colors also look uh, really good and the overall uh, clarity of the selfie camera looks really good. So that is the camera review of the uh, Lenovo ZUK Z1. So overall what do we think about this camera? It is one of the really best cameras in this price point below 15k if, you're, if your budget is uh, less than 15k and your priority is camera then without doubt the Lenovo ZUK Z1 is the first choice in this price point uh, and it definitely beats the Redmi Note 3 in terms of the overall clarity. Uh, there is an edge uh, because it has optical image stabilization and also Snapdragon 801 chipset which is really powerful in terms of the image processing as well. So overall uh, if your priority is for camera uh, then uh, obviously the best choice in this price point is the Lenovo ZUK Z1. So that was the uh, detailed camera review of the Z1. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.